Hi everyone, Luke here from Apple Online Academy and today I have a quite interesting topic, quite important topic and that's your privacy, your privacy while browsing on the internet. You definitely notice that you search for some product on the internet and after that you open another page, you open your Facebook and this product is appearing over and over again. That's because a cross-site tracking. But now, thanks to Apple, this is over. Apple added new feature to the Safari, which prevents this cross-site tracking. But it doesn't mean that you will not see any ads. First of all, this function of cross-site tracking is available only on Safari. So even if you're on the Mac and using Chrome, it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna help you. And I doubt that it will ever be there, because Google's main business is actually serving you ad. So they want to track you and they want to know more about you to give you the targeted ad. So for me, it's good reason enough to start using Safari. And maybe it will be good reason for you as well. And there is a lot more about Safari. I made a video about 10 reasons why you should use Safari over Chrome. Check it out if you're interested. But now let's see how it works. After you upgrade to Safari 14, you are going to see a new button on top of the screen that's for privacy report. Even here on the Google, if you click on it, it's actually showing that there is already one tracker prevented from profiling you. Let's go to some other website like this news. And you will see that it's a lot more. It's 24 trackers on this website. So it's a pretty large number of trackers prevented from profiling you. You can click here to reveal the list of all trackers. And you can show even more information by clicking on this eye icon. You will get a full report of number of trackers stopped in the last 30 days, the percentage of sites that has trackers on them, and list of websites including all the trackers that have been seen on those websites. Now the good news is that all these trackers have been prevented from tracking you. That's because in Safari preferences, under privacy, there is a feature prevent cross-site tracking. So as long as you have that turned on, that report is actually showing of the trackers that have been stopped. Let's talk quickly about what is a tracker. Well, when you're on the site like this one, you may think everything you see here is the CNN website. But it's not true. There are parts of the page that are from another website. Like this advertisement over here. So the ad is basically a blank rectangle on the web page and it's filled in by another web page coming from the advertiser. So any ad you see on the website is not coming from that site. They are just reserved spots and another site comes and fill it in. That's how the web advertising work. Sometimes the trackers do nothing. They just want to see how many people are visiting the page. It was 100 people one day, it was 1000 another day. So they want to know what the traffic is. If it's increasing, decreasing, they can do something about it. But the other category is actually noting what content are you searching. If you're searching for a new iPhone, it will think that you want to buy a new iPhone and it will be offering you that iPhone on any other pages as a targeted ad. If you look back at the trackers, you will definitely notice doubleclick.net here. It's one of the Google's ad services and it's seen on almost every page that serves ads. So if you are looking one content page where this doubleclick.net is present and then you go to another website where it's the same, it will be serving you some content based on your preferences and based on your interests. It's not entirely a bad thing. It doesn't know any information about it. It just knows that you had an interest in some kind of product and it will be offering you some specific ads, not a random one, to so something you might be interested in. But anyway, I don't really feel nice to be followed. I want to have control about it. And thanks to this feature, all of this is prevented. Safari is recognizing that some advertising company wants to track you and it will stop them from doing that. Of course, when you go to another website, you might still see the related content to it, but it's not because of these trackers. It might be because you are logged into some other services, especially Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. You are logged in into that system, so they will be getting data from inside of the system, not by cross-site tracking. So I think this privacy report are quite interesting thing. I definitely have it on, and it's nice to know who is following you. On the other hand, it's really going against the advertisers. They don't want to serve ads to everyone. They don't want to show you some products you are not interested in it. They want to be as specific as possible to make you buy the product. But if you are on the other side and you want to just freely browse your websites and check for some content and knowing that you are not followed is very nice feeling. There is not really much what you can do with this feature. Until you have it on, it's all working and it's preventing the trackers from profiling you. 
you can check the privacy report, but that's it. You can let Apple and your browser to do the job for you. I don't mind to be served ads, but I do care about my privacy. I don't mind to be reached by advertisers, but I want to know about it and I want to have it under control. If I want to turn it off, I turn it off. And that's why I like this feature so much. Do you think it's a good feature? Or are you on the other side? You are the advertiser and you're losing money because of that. Let's talk about it in the comments. This is Luke and I will see you in the next video.